fortunebuilders.tv. Hey everyone, it's JD Asajan, and welcome to another show on fortunebuilders.tv. Remember, this is where we bring the real estate and small business education to you. And believe it or not, today I'm standing on top of a roof, and not in California. We're in uh, Dover, Massachusetts. Uh, remember that CT Homes got our start in New England, and we still invest every day in New England. And actually today we're in Massachusetts, specifically in Dover, uh, at one of our uh, joint venture opportunities with one of our uh, mastery students, believe it or not. Julio Vega, who's actually behind the camera right now. Julio, say hi. Hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> He's a great uh, investor, mastery student in the Massachusetts area, and took advantage of the resources and the information that's available to him as an investor and as a student in mastery, and put this property under contract and closed on it. It's actually a 4,000 square foot high-end home in Dover, Mass, a very nice area of Massachusetts, and it's completely wrecked, all right? Uh, it's a great property, and today's show specifically is going to be an intro on septic systems. This house has uh, a lot of problems. It's why we got it under contract and bought it at such a discount, but one of the major problems here is the septic system, and um, the fact that the system, septic system had failed, and it had um, problems with relation to wetlands that are um, on the property, so uh, that's why Julio was able to buy it and put it under contract at such a cheap price. So what I want to do today is just intro septic systems and let you know that we're going to do a, a series of shows on the on septic systems. So, you know, what is a septic system? And uh, do you have one at your house? Many people don't even know what it looks like. What is a distribution box? What does a septic tank look like? Leaching field, right? We're going to have a, a complete new leaching field right here behind me on the ground, which is where all the, uh, all the waste matter in the house is going to go. So we're going to do a series of shows about what is a septic system, what goes into installation, how do you estimate repairs, how do you design a system, because here we've got a number of different problems. Septic systems need a certain amount of area in the ground to be able to leach into when for waste in the house. This particular property doesn't have the required amount of area for the bedroom count of the house and the system that needs to be designed. So we have to apply for a variance with the city and there's only one spot that that septic can go um, here the leaching field I should say because there's wetlands on the other side so a septic system for those of you that don't know what it is uh, because not every house has public sewer and if you don't know what a septic system is and how much it costs to repair and if a buyer likes a septic versus city sewer then you as an investor can come into a bunch of problems where it's going to be more expensive to rehab a house a buyer's not going to like it because it has a septic and every other house in the area has city sewer. So we're going to talk about that on a number of different shows. I really just wanted to spend a couple of moments introing that septic systems are big problems. It's kind of up there with foundation problems for a lot of investors in that they don't feel comfortable uh, estimating it, they don't feel comfortable rehabbing it, and because of that it puts them out of deals. But we as investors, and Julio is a great example of that, uh, run to those type of opportunities. Now, Julio on this particular project um, hadn't tackled a job this big or a septic system with this many problems. So he comes to us as uh, coaches in the mastery program and we partner in JV on the deal. And this is a great opportunity to uh, make money together and, uh, and do a deal with uh, someone in, in local area here, specifically Julio on this property. So this, the numbers on this deal, um, I'll talk about it in a moment, but um, you know it's really going to be a good opportunity for you as the viewer of our shows to learn about septics. Deal or no deal? All right, so in our deal or no deal segment of the show, I want to talk about this particular property that we're standing on the roof of right now. And is it a deal or is it not a deal? All right, well, we don't know until we have numbers in front of us. This particular property was purchased for uh, $300,000. And... Uh, now, you don't have any idea if that's a deal or not in Dover because you don't know the comps. But after running comps, the ARV of this property is in the eight hundred and fifty to potentially $900,000 range. Big spread there, but still, it, we don't know if it's a deal or not until we know our rehab costs. Well, Julio took the property per estimate sheet, which is a form in the, in the mastery program, and went through the property and put numbers to everything in the house and come up with a repair cost uh, of about $100,000 and fifty sixty five thousand dollars hundred and fifty to one hundred sixty five thousand dollars on this particular property on his first walkthrough now after getting on the phone with me and going through some of the bigger ticket items because it's a four thousand square foot house we actually increased that uh, rehab number to about a, about hundred and eighty five thousand dollars 
So $300,000 purchase, $185,000 renovation. We rounded up to $200,000 for this property just to have a fudge factor to be able to do some more bells and whistles and sizzle features. And an ARV of $850,000. That's a big deal. Deal. Big time deal. But Julio would have never been able to have an opportunity to make money with us on this property if he didn't, if he didn't take action, take quick action, right? So this particular property in Dover is a big time deal and you're going to see it come together here in the next coming weeks and months and, and following shows. Quote of the week. All right, in our last segment of the show, uh, I want to do our uh, quote of the week. All right, and this one comes from Julio um, and something that he puts on his scopes of work that he gives to his contractors to estimate the job and I like it a lot. If you don't have time to do something right, when will you have time to do it, uh, to do it again? That's a good one. It's a great one to just think about what does that mean to you in your business and your life and follow the, the principles that uh, will make you successful. Now I want to remind everyone to go to the Suggest a Show segment on this site and give us some uh, recommendations on what you want to learn more about. Specifically on, on this, after this show, in the comment section below, let me know what your thoughts are and what you specifically want to learn about with relation to septic systems because there's a lot of things that go into septic systems, the tank, the distribution box, the pump chamber, the leaching field, seepage pit, when do you use that and when can you use that, variances with relation to area. There's a lot of things, so let me know what you want to learn more about and Julio and I will bring some awesome new shows to you on this particular property. We'll see you on the next show. FortuneBuilders.tv